mo most of it is kind of obvious. Uh, industry is nice. I think an industrial lab is a great place. I'm more excited than I was expecting. You could have contribution and impact within a broader uh, sphere. Affecting what happens in uh, reality. University gives you job security. You have way more freedom to pursue the things that you find interesting. Promoting a student from the very beginning. Research and teaching, so interacting with students. To work in a university and collaborate with the industry. I, I don't remember if, uh, uh, why I came to that conclusion. I will speak about industry as that is where I have worked for about 10 years now. I think an industrial lab is a great place to try out a research um, in a real world environment. One can understand gaps in existing research and also identify terrific new research problems and directions. Um, it also provides one with an opportunity to work on various aspects of taking research to production. I think also the environment tends to encourage one to collaborate with members outside of your immediate research community, um, and this can have a very positive impact on research. While one might say that you do not need to write grants, uh, one still needs to spend time articulating why your research um, is important to the company as well, and I think that's a good thing. One perhaps con I would say is that uh, one does not have the opportunity to mentor students for an extended duration and that's something that one might miss um, in an industrial research lab. I think that the, uh, being in industry is can be fantastic if uh, you want to focus on doing research and in, in, in the spend all your energy doing research and, and, and so on. Uh, but I think that there is something unique about academia. I cannot say to all the amazing advantages of being in industry, um, but certainly one unique advantage of being in academia is, uh, is having students, uh, which is, you know, these, you know, you can nurture students, you can, uh, 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 you, you know, um, uh, you can really, over a period of five years, um, you know, nurture a student uh, who ends up being a, a full-fledged researcher and is contributing to, to science and the field and, and you know, uh, in a pretty uh, dramatic way, right? So I, I think that's, uh, that's really, uh, really fantastic about being in academia. I can't really say all the benefits of being in industry, um, but I guess uh, one advantage that the clear would be, would be is that maybe in, in academia, you have to deal with a lot of uh, uh, administrative uh, tasks, which may be quite simplified while, while you're in uh, the industry, in an industrial position. I think for me, uh, uh, working with students uh, was, uh, was the strongest motivation for pursuing academia. Um, most of my collaborators during my PhD were, uh, were, were sort of in a similar age group as, as myself. So that, you know, I didn't, I had actually quite limited experience in working with uh, junior or substantially junior uh, students. And so uh, this wasn't something that uh, uh, I, I, I had a sense of, sense of what it would be like. But it was uh, what I was motivated by. Um, um, I, don't, I, I don't remember if, uh, uh, why, why I came to that conclusion, but yeah. Well, first of all, I have to say that I feel very privileged to be part of a group in the industry, which is very close to academia. The only thing that we cannot do is to have full-time students. However, we can have interns and our group is very big. So we have a lot of collaborations. Uh, and the other thing is that we cannot uh, teach full-time courses, but in many situa situations, I have to teach cryptography to my peers, uh, which is amazing. And then uh, another thing I have to say is that uh, being in industry can help you uh, put um, your research into practice. Okay. And I have to admit, uh, when I joined my group, it was very new. 
and the joiners were all uh, also from academia and I have to admit that I was running this test in my head saying that well if I don't like it uh, I'm going to leave after a year uh, however I have to say that I'm more excited than I was expecting the team is great okay um, and at the same time another advantage that uh, I can see um, that I have is that I can interact with clients okay uh, what does this mean it means that we can actually find problems coming from the real world and solve new research questions based on them uh, then get the opinion of the clients and then offer products to clients so it's great to apply your research in practice and I think that would have been very hard to achieve from academia especially uh, finding clients of an investment bank uh, in which I am so I think this is very important and it drives my research I think they have uh, a different approach towards doing research and I'll be talking about uh, industry but from the point of view of industry where research is also a major part of the work um, i think if you're working in an industry uh, you have to motivate your research also from the point of view of what is useful for the company that you work for it, this at least if you want to be successful and to have impact needs to be there uh, while in academia you have probably more freedom to choose exactly what problems you're working on. Although this is not entirely, entirely free because there are things like having grants, writing papers that are uh, in a field that's considered uh, interesting and uh, fundable. So I think in both places, there is this issue that you have to motivate why you, you're doing this research and how it is important and applicable. Uh, I think in industry, it's more closely related to what your company is doing. Uh, and if you're going for industry, I think you should be excited about uh, not only working on your research, but also communicating with people that are not necessarily in your area and trying to understand really where you could have contribution and impact within a broader uh, sphere, not only your uh, research field necessarily. So I've been I've been to industry into in several places, but all the places that I've been to were very academic at the time that I've been. So I've been to at t Research at at a very good time and uh, to Microsoft Research and uh, even Samsung Research uh, at a very particular time. Um, one thing about industry is that uh, you can't expect a lot of stability there. So uh, a manager changes and then everything uh, changes or, or uh, there is some... Uh, so if you are in industry, you should uh, take into account that you may need to move to change your priorities or so that's one big disadvantage in industry another disadvantage is the, that you have access to students but not a continuous access to students so it's nice you get interns they are very prepared and and very mature usually but there is something very very nice about uh, promoting a student from the very beginning, working with them. with the, It's a different kind of relation. In general, I think academia has a lot of uh, community aspect to it that perhaps is much stronger than uh, at an industry. Teaching is often uh, referred to as the disadvantage of, uh, of academia, uh, but uh, over time, um, people tend to like it more, I think. Uh, they feel that it is a way of uh, doing something good and, and influencing the way students view the world. So uh, for me, I've been to industry, but it was always kind of a temporary thing in my mind. And it was always in a very academic environment. So I should say I've never worked in industry. So uh, it's, uh, it's now the answer of a pure academic here. Um, 
so for me, the motivation to try to stay in academia is um, academic freedom, that I basically can work on whatever I like to work on and whatever I find interesting. Um, I like the combination of research and teaching, so interacting with students. Um, maybe not, well, if you're teaching a first year bachelor course with hundreds of students on some programming 101, which I never actually taught. I'm not sure how much I would I would love that. I, in fact, maybe once as a good experience. But the um, the exchange with students when at some point you get questions you can't answer anymore. That's actually the that's the coolest part about it. Um, well, I like I like the international aspect of it. I like meeting people from all over the world. I still like the traveling aspect of it. Um, the disadvantage, well, uh, the elephant in the room is that typically industry pays better. It's not that academia doesn't pay particularly well, but industry typically pays better. I think the bigger issue for many young, well, young people having to make this decision is that jobs in academia are not super family compatible, family friendly and relationship friendly. Um, so I, I think it's a, well, it's a common thing to expect researchers to, or academics to spend time abroad and not just two or three months, um, but at least do a postdoc really somewhere else, which can be, can be tough um, for relationship and family and maybe impossible. I think it's, it's a good thing in a way to expect this still because so for me, spending two years in Taiwan for my postdoc um, gave me so much of a, of a different perspective of how different groups work, of how different academic systems work, of well, obviously how different cultures work um, in, in a way that you would never get from a two week stay or even a, a two month stay. So, and I think this is helpful now for me as like working in a relatively international environment. Then again, yeah, it is, it is incompatible. So I heard from many people uh, say, well, I, I want to stay. I want to look for a job in a 20 kilometer radius uh, around my hometown where I was born and grew up. And uh, yeah, that's, that's basically not very compatible. With I've, I've seen people do this also in academia, but it's not the typical thing. In academia, you have way more freedom to pursue the things that you find interesting, as opposed to the things that someone else needs you to work on. In academia, one has the freedom to choose his research direction, while the industry knows what is needed in practice, and more attention is paid to applied aspects. In China, if you work in a university and collaborate with the industry, you can almost combine the best of the two, so I, I don't think uh, this to uh, contradictory. Well, uh, industry is nice uh, since you don't uh, have any teaching obligations. So I, I didn't really want to teach. So that's one reason I didn't opt for academia. Um, I just prefer doing research. Um, of course, that can be an advantage of academia if you enjoy having students. Um, otherwise, um, I don't really know. I mean, it's nice to have a, a group of people in industry with sort of a common goal. So if you're all working for the same company, maybe you have some common goals, maybe you get some direction. It's, it's nice actually to have some external motivation and direction uh, from your superiors um, sometimes if you're, uh, uh, if you're lacking your own motivation. Um, so I, I enjoy that sure. as long as it's not overbearing. Mm -hmm. So clearly both the pro and the cons of academia as students. Uh, you get to work with a lot of students, but also you have to work with a lot of students. So depending on uh, what kind of students you happen to uh, work with, uh, it could be a plus or a minus. Uh, and also depending on how personally you like working with young people that need uh, uh, direction and, and, uh, and, and such. Um, Industry pays a little better at the beginning. After a while, after that, uh, it really depends on where you where you are. Uh, yeah, I don't have too many interesting things to say about it. I mean, the the 
mo most of it is kind of obvious. Uh, academia, in typical cases, you have more freedom in choosing what it is that you want to work on. But, you know, since you still need to bring in grants, I mean, it's not complete freedom, even if, even if formal aid is. Um, so in that sense, academia might, uh, industry might be a little more direct. Than, uh, like, yeah, a little bit more why? Directed. I mean, there'll be people who will try to direct your research more in, in, in industry than in academia. So again, you might like it or you might not like it, but uh, this might be a difference. Uh, other than that, I don't think that uh, research labs today are very similar to research labs at the time where I joined. A research lab, so maybe my experience is not particularly relevant anymore. Uh, I, I believe so. They, uh, uh, this in the, working in industry is as much, much less freedom, academic freedom, than we had uh, in, in particular in IBM. Uh, but one uh, essential difference is uh, job security. University gives you job security once you have a, a, a when you have what? Ten. Huh? ten year. <laughs> once you have tenure. Uh, and Hugo never had tenure. He didn't need the words. <laughs> oh, you did when you were in the Technion. Yeah. Uh, I had built. Um, yeah. So that that's a big. That's a big thing. It's a big thing. Um, so, okay. But the industry allows you to be a little bit more in touch with the practice, maybe, depending on how interested you are in that. Um, you may impact uh, products and stuff that people use more easily than if you are in the university. Uh, <clears throat> it's a very, very good, very good question to ask me. Uh, I think uh, uh, academia is the land of ideas and concepts. And if you are mainly interested in this part of, of uh, the work in which you have a new notion, a new construction, a new theorem. This more or less uh, typically, not exclusively, but typically belong in academia. Sometimes in industry, you get inspired and, and you get, uh, if you are researchers, you can transform, reverse transform it from, from industry to, to research. But, uh, but academia is more limited uh, because uh, you don't see the full picture of uh, what is crypto. You know, for some people, crypto is just symbol manipulation on paper, but but crypto actually works in the re in the real world, and that's the uh, that's the industry research. If you are interested in uh, affecting what happens in uh, reality, then uh, then industry is the right uh, the right place, and then it has to be built in a way that fits uh, the effort uh, and so on around around it. But in industry, you can uh, you can have an idea, and then uh, uh, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, and billion users can be affected by it, and. Uh, Sometimes people in academia don't understand it, but uh, that's the advantage of uh, being in industry. So there are, there are advantages to both sides. And this is the reason I, I, I keep always a, a, a research position in industry, an adjunct position in academia. 